Law enforcement officers who made the ultimate sacrifice are being honored at the White House for the start of National Police Week. The memorial service in D.C. comes amid what has been the deadliest start of the year for law enforcement in Wisconsin in decades. Wisconsin also leads the nation in line of duty deaths for 2023. Four law enforcement officers have been laid to rest. Emily Ness spoke to local law enforcement leaders who attended today's emotional service and has how Wisconsin stood out. Hundreds of American heroes were honored for making the ultimate sacrifice on the West Lawn of the White House Monday. Some served for decades and mentored generations of colleagues. Others had only just begun their careers. Among those heroes was one from Wisconsin, Daniel Craybaum. He was a uh, Wisconsin Department of Corrections officer that died uh, in an accidental fall in 2021. Now, Craybon's name joins the over 23,000 names on the National Law Enforcement Memorial where it will live on. No one, no one puts on a badge and a ballistic vest every day because they want to experience the worst in humanity. That reality feels especially harsh in Wisconsin right now after four line of duty deaths this year alone. Milwaukee police officer Peter Jerving was shot and killed while responding to a domestic disturbance in February. Shatek police officer Emily Breidenbach and Cameron police officer Hunter Scheel were shot and killed while responding to a traffic stop in April. And just this month, St. Croix County Sheriff's Deputy Katie Lysing was shot and killed by a drunk driver. It takes a, a small army of, of people to make something like this. Ryan Windorf, president of the Wisconsin Fraternal Order of Police, was in Washington, D.C. for the emotional ceremony. He said it's a chance for people to heal among both their immediate families and their law enforcement families. It's a profession and a uh, calling that binds us. So it, you know, as sad as it is, it is really a healing experience. He adds it's also a good reminder to thank law enforcement for all they do. It really means the world in a time like this where uh, everybody's hurting. Today, President Joe Biden released a video in support of National Police Week. He directed that video to surviving loved ones of officers killed in the line of duty. One day will come when the memory of your loved one brings a smile to your lips before it brings a tear to your eyes. That's when you know you're going to make it. My prayer for you is that day comes sooner than, rather than later, but I promise you, through your pain, you'll find purpose worthy of how they lived. To combat line of duty deaths, Biden says his administration is seeking $37 billion to hire 100,000 more police officers. That's on top of strengthening background checks, cracking down on illegal gun sales, and providing psychologists and social workers to respond to calls with police. 